This comes from this crazy spicy one. Good evening everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in Shanghai, China. I'm here with my friend Nia from Sweden. She speaks Mandarin, she lives here. And Nia's taking me to eat some delicious Sichuanese hot pot at a chain restaurant here. This place looks amazing and it's right here on Nanjing Road, which is like the most famous street, right? We're right here next to People's Square right now. And then if we keep walking on that street, we'll get to the bond later. But first we're gonna eat in Haidi Lao, which is the name of the restaurant that we're going to. She was like white sauce, hot sauce, tomato sauce, and the spicy level here can get really outrageous. I came to one of these with my father when I came here, and it was like you literally can't even eat the food. You have to get all the spice or all the peppers. Are you hungry? Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. Let's go. Let's go eat. So the restaurant is literally next to the metro exit that starts Nanjing Road from People's Square. So this building, this like I don't know, ten-story building right here. That's like, you know, I guess like French architecture or something like brick building. Inside here, fifth floor, right? Yeah, fifth floor. Malls here in China are insane. They're huge. This is how like most of China is. Everywhere I go, it's like this. Never ending mall. So the restaurant's like literally like in the mall. We're on the fifth floor. We're like walking through all these different uh, stores selling shoes, purses, clothing. And the restaurant's over here is so random. Yeah, it's so empty. It's packed. It is packed. To me, it doesn't look that packed. No? We have a little bit of an issue. Uh, we got here and there's an hour wait. An hour wait. We have like uh, number 185 and they're on 156. It shouldn't be that long. It should be like half an hour. Half an hour? Half an hour? <laughs> oh, what's that? Sour plum juice. Wow. And popcorn. And popcorn. Mmm. Mmm. This is great popcorn. This popcorn actually reminds me like cereal. The wait can be like 30 minutes to up to an hour. So they have this like waiting station. And uh, I'm gonna order a beer because I have to drink a beer. I'm a Chinese beer. Strong. Strong. Yeah. That one looks good, but what is it? Is there their own beer from here? All right, I'll take this one then. Yeah, and it says like wheat beer. So you're getting like a real Chinese restaurant experience where they're like screaming the numbers like now it's 157, like really, really loud. Everyone is waiting for their food and like sometimes people bring stuff to eat while they're waiting, but now they gave us like something to drink and something to eat, so yeah. So this is an amber lager and this is their own beer. It's like a wheat beer. No, it's good, it's good. Oh, it's good, it's good. And it's only 10 yen, so it's like a dollar forty for one beer. That's very cheap. It's amazing. 5% alcohol, so not too not too high in alcohol. But for a dollar forty, you can have ten of these. Shit. 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 It's us. I mean, we waited like 15 minutes, maybe 15 minutes. Thank God we didn't leave. And this is our spot. I love it. It's like big boots. Not so big. I mean, it fits two people. We have the hot pot station. So you can see it's like, you can put four different stations. You can put either half and half or four. So we can choose one type of soup or two soups or four different types of soups. So I think we're gonna do two spicy ones and two non-spicy ones because I don't eat spicy, so yeah. And I'm thinking maybe tomato and mushroom and then two spicy ones. It's like big aprons, right? Yeah, apron, aprons. Aprons. Yeah. So it smells over my head? Oh, made it too tight. This is awesome. Can I keep it? <laughs> This branch doesn't have like buffet style. They have a menu. So we're choosing our four different like, uh, you know, hot pot sauces or soups. Too spicy, too non. And then here we have so many different things. We have, so the soup base, right? That's what we're choosing. Then we have meats. We have specialty dishes, classic chaffing dishes. 
and alcohol snacks. Some of the items they have are lamb, mutton, so they have goat. What else do they have? They have Australian beef, they have pork, they have chicken. I mean, it's endless. The meat options are endless. And they also have a lot of other dishes. And the only beers they have are two from this place. So like their own beers, Hari Lao beers. This is pretty good. I'm gonna try the other one after. This is pretty good. I, I'll tell you, I haven't been so excited for a restaurant in a while. Like, I'm so excited. Meats and vegetables. Three meats, one um, mutton and two beef. And then some cabbage and some mushrooms. And I think it's gonna be really good. And uh, the total bill came out to like 300 I think. And that's like uh, 40 $50 US. Plus the beer, when the beer is the cheapest, it's 10. I can't even believe. have a beer. Here we have it, the feast. Three different meat dishes, vegetables, and we still have noodles. They're gonna bring now, they're gonna like do it in the air. It's gonna be amazing. All right, let's start. I'll put one in the really spicy one. Okay. You can try. <laughs> so this is the really spicy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is tomato, right? Yeah, this is tomato. This is mushrooms, not spicy. This one is like a little spicy, and this one is middle spicy. Okay. So. And you put the meats in there for about two minutes. Same thing with the vegetables. Two yeah. minutes. Yeah, so only two minutes cooked. It's pretty good. Really fast. I mean, we ordered. Five minutes later, we had the food. Two minutes each thing. You can you can eat here in like one hour. Solid. Be out. Is that for you? That's for you, no? Yeah. I'll take the spicy one. Not too spicy. Let's see the other one. This comes from this crazy spicy one. Oh! <laughs> oh, it's like super spicy. The second you put it in your mouth, your tongue explodes. I mean, I need a second. No, but this one, this one's, this one's semi-spicy, the one I'm trying now. Semi-spice. Mm. I like that one. It's really good. And this is like mushrooms, right? Some mushrooms. Mmm. Wow, almost felt like tofu. The consistency, like how soft it was. Mmm. Wow. That's so good. The crazy thing about this is like, you have so many different combinations. You have the meat, you have the vegetables, and you have four different types of soups. So different flavors all around. The white one's a little different. Very like light, no spice, like almost nothing at all. I haven't tried the tomato one yet. I'm gonna throw something in the tomato one. The tomato one's great. Yeah. Oh, but it's spicy too, right? Yeah, no. I think it's cooked. Yeah, yeah, this is from the least, the, the softest spice. Mmm, that was lamb, by the way. Uh -huh. That was lamb. Delicious. I really, really like these mushrooms, though. Oh, they're really hot though. Hot. I think we're going through all the meat way before the vegetables. <laughs> oh, but the vegetables are so good. I think this is done. Yeah, should be done. Here we go. Mm. Oh, super tender beef. It was perfect, by the way. Perfect. I'm gonna try the one from the, from the really spice. Really spicy. I don't want it to be too spicy. Everything's so damn spicy though. And that vegetable? It's not though. That's done? It's not spicy. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. Take a break with this one. Make some of this. What is this? Uh, cabbage? And this is mini cabbage. Mmm. A little hot. I love a tomato base. This is coming from the spicy one. Too hot. Too hot. Now I'm going with the, the mushrooms. This one's from like the least spicy. Mm. Oh wow. Super crunchy. Mm. Oh, this food's so good. Oh my god. Fermented bamboo. Yeah, I'm not sure which part, but yeah. It's nice. That's all I need to I don't know what happened with that tomato base though, because it's way spicier than the, than the spicy. Uh -huh. The other spice. Oh my god. That's tomato. So I've been eating this, this spicy one the whole time. That's why I'm <laughs> Big mistake. The other one's tomato, this one's spice. That's why it's so hot and we have everything in it. 
So I'm gonna have some of that bamboo, fermented bamboo from the spicy sauce. It's a spice that like makes your lips tingle. That's how spicy it is. Ooh. Oh my god, it's hot. Why so hot? And this is not even as spicy, it's the other one's spicier. All right, now I got the wheat beer. Dude, this is like intense spice. It's intense, intense spice. I gotta like stay away from the spice from now on. It's just like, it's a spice that like eventually like gets into your like your head. It starts tingling everywhere, you know? You can't even touch yourself because if you touch your eye, you can get like the spice in your eye. So this is a noodle master, noodle master. Wow. Whoa, it's getting big. <laughs> it's crazy. Doesn't even touch the floor, look at that. Oh, you almost hit me. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Those dancing noodles were amazing. It's gonna take two minutes for that to, to cook in there. In the meantime, I'll finish up with some of these mushrooms and the cabbage. And these are tomato base, thank God. Thank God for the apron. Everything was flying. Mm. Oh, again, again? Two minutes are off, I think. It's a little slippery. I think so. Yeah, it doesn't want to come out. I got it. Oh, it looks too hot, too hot, too hot, too hot. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's really good. Mm. The only problem is you gotta let everything sit for a second because it comes out of there like boiling. So when you put it in your mouth, it's like too hot. Besides spice, it's like just way too hot for your tongue. So here we go. I'm gonna try the noodles, and this is like from the white base soup. Mm. How do you even grab these? You can't. You just gotta, it's like too slippery. Oh wow. Is there any more in here? Oh, look at this. So hot. Oh, that's way better. Mm. Tomato base. The tomato was like absorbed into the noodles. Oh my god, this is like the ultimate hot pot. Mm. Mm. It's grabbing everything out of here. Just throw everything in. I'm gonna throw some of this in here, some of that in there. I'm gonna throw one into the spice because I need to try at least one more time. The ultimate spice? Hell no. Okay guys, so we're on the last vegetables and a little bit of meat. I'm getting a piece of meat out of the spicy. This is not the ultimate spice. This is the ultimate spice. You don't want to touch that. It's way too hot. So go in here. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Like it's hiding. Here it is. So you put it out. What I would do is I let it sit here for at least like 20 seconds, you know. Because now it's way too hot. But let it sit right here. Mm. I love the way they cut the meat. Mm. Super delicious. A little bit of fat. And I love how it absorbs the sauce. Like it really does. That's the best thing about hot pot. Like it's absorbing and absorbing. Go in here, grab some vegetables. Oh, I got. Sorry, I'm gonna have to take this. <laughs> No, I'll, I'll take one of these. Oh, that's good. Yeah, you just gotta let it sit for a bit though, because if not, I just like, just burn everything inside. This is so amazing. Man, it's not that pricey. I mean, for two of us to eat, like, over eat, we're spending 50 bucks. 50 dollars US. In Miami, 50 bucks. This will be like at least 100 or 150. Easily. Hot. Too hot. Gambe! <laughs> and just like that, we're back on Nanjing Road. So this is like the main pedestrian street here in Shanghai. Huge malls, like look at this right here. This is crazy. That's a mall? Yeah. A mall slash a tower, because you have this incredible tower right here. Lots of skyscrapers here. You also have like, it looks colonial, that building over there. 
uh, restaurants, lots of lights. This looks very Tokyo-ish, mm -hmm. you know, like all these lights over here. Yeah, with, a, with some French style buildings. Avengers Endgame right here. They're promoting the movie. Oh my God, this is incredible. So basically this is like a, a Lego Avengers Endgame promotion. So cool, so different. And then here we have Thanos. Oh my God, we have Thanos here oh. with the sword. Okay, here we go. Okay. Yeah, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> yeah, thank you. It's a Tuesday night and the, the metro stops around 10.30 and then instead of being every three minutes, it's like every 15 and then every 30 minutes. And eventually I think it stops like at one in the morning and the lights turning off now, but this place at during the day is bumping so many people. As you can see, there's a lot of stores, like you have gift shops, you have restaurants, you have little malls, you have advertising, and you have like European style buildings here. I don't know when, but the French were here at a point. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is an incredible place, Najing Road. Oh man, this is uh, it's like brings me back to the time I was here with my father. Dad, I love you. Guys, I hope you love this video, eating delicious Szechuan hot pot. It was so good, but a little too spicy for me. My stomach's hurting right now. It's like, it's not feeling well. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I mean, we had a great time. Nia's amazing and she speaks Mandarin. That's one thing I gotta tell you, when you come to China, definitely either hire a guide or find a friend that speaks Mandarin because it's really hard to get around in terms of the language. The language barrier is like lost in translation here is for real. Japan wasn't so bad. Here it's really difficult. I mean, talking about a country with 1.8 billion people and expecting everybody to speak English, nah, it doesn't exist. And guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Shanghai, China. Let's go.